Okay, no lectures, no warnings. I just want you to be happy for me, okay? Well, I can't be happy for you until I know what you're talking about. So I didn't tell you? I don't think I want to know. Jack's now getting married. Sonny didn't rush right over here and tell you that Jax and I are getting married. Charlie, he's got a lot of things on his mind. He always has time to interfere in my life. How'd he find out? Did you just tell him? No, I didn't tell him. He found out from Morgan before I had a chance to from tell him. Mor how Morgan? How does Morgan know? Because Jax needed to make sure that my engagement ring fit, so he made Morgan go get one of my other rings so we could measure it. Oh, that's good. Using a four-year-old. That's nice. Like using a four-year-old. He swore Morgan to secrecy, and they were whispering and giggling, and I bribed, pleaded, and did everything I could to get it out of Morgan, but he wouldn't tell me. And then Jax asked me to meet him at the Elm Street Pier. Yeah, I remember. Well, after you left, Jax took me for a walk, and when we came back to the pier, he had it set up like a tiny little romantic restaurant, and we had dinner, and he popped the question. And you said yes, just like that? No, not just like that. We discussed it, and then I said yes. Hey. I want you to be my best person. I want you standing there right next to me when Jax and I exchange vows. I don't know about that. What do you mean you don't know? Well, this wouldn't exactly be the first time that you rushed into something without thinking This is about not it. sudden. Jax and I have known each other for a long time, and we were in business together twice. Yeah, and the first time was a complete disaster. Okay, yes, I hated Jax. That's what makes this so amazing, Jason, because we've worked through that, and we've come out the other side. Come on. You have been there with me through every important moment in my life. I want you right there with me for this. I love Jax. And I really need you to be happy for me. So you please, 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 please be my best person, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we have to make you happy. I'm fine. No, you're not. But you don't. We're going to fix that. I'm going to get you back together with Sam, even if you turn out to be the father of Elizabeth's baby. When you get married again, anyway, I thought you were liking this whole independent thing. I am. But I love Jax, and I want to share my life with him. It's your decision. Why don't you stop changing the subject? Why don't we talk about you and Sam? Because she has to be going through hell right now. Yeah, I, uh, I came home and found Sam in what would have been the baby's room. Did you guys talk about that? Yeah, she, uh, she came straight out and asked how I could refuse to give her a child and give Elizabeth one. You know that, that that's not what happened, right? Sam's thinking with her heart right now, not with her head, Jason. What Elizabeth gets to have what Sam's always wanted, and that's your child. I just, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to reassure Sam. Sam's biggest fear has to be that Elizabeth is going to capitalize on this pregnancy and want to move right in. And that Sam's going to lose you forever. Can you look at me and tell me that that couldn't possibly happen? What do you do with the baby's father? Have you figured out a plan? Because as much as Elizabeth says she wants to raise her kids alone, she really wants to be with And how, how do you know that? Elizabeth loves Lucky. If he can make it through recovery, they might Listen, have a chance get to... get real. If you turn out to be the baby's father, Lucky is out of the picture, and Elizabeth is going to show up at your door ready to set up house. What are you going to do then? I told him my life is dangerous. Okay, you're going to leave the business? You know I can't leave. You want out, you pay a price. I make commitments I can't go back on. So if Elizabeth and her kids were to come with me, I'd be exposing them all to a life of danger. Elizabeth doesn't want that. You could always push her away, just like you did to Sam. I've learned my lesson. Okay, so you're going to let Elizabeth decide whether she wants a life. I've learned my lesson. The risk would be hers to take. Do you hear what you're saying? You'd be Elizabeth for the asking. And Sam's just out. Carly, I hate how much this is hurting Sam. Okay, but I you're hate. doing it anyway. Well, if the baby didn't ask to be conceived, shouldn't my first obligation be to my child? Ask yourself this question. Can you spend the rest of your life without Sam? Carly's married. 
Sergeant Jack. I need you to stop this. Michael told me that you told him that he had to accept my engagement to Jax. And I thought, wow, Sonny is just being so mature about this. And here I catch you, red-handed, trying to go behind my back and sabotage my marriage before it even starts, Sonny. Fine, you want me to admit it? Yeah, I prefer that Jason, you know, stop you from marrying Jax. <laughs> We're not getting back together, and you know that, so why do you care? Because, because I, the reason I care is if, if you guys get married, it's going to bring unnecessary pain to the boys, to you, to the family. Not if Jax and I are happy, and we well, are. You're happy now, but it's not going to last. Jax is, listen. Jax has a very bad track record with matrimony, and he loses interest real fast. You're just saying that because you don't like Jax. Look what happened to Courtney. Do you think that can't happen to you? Courtney was my best friend. She was the one who cheated on Jax, and that's not going to happen with me. Yeah. Well, you're not going to cheat, but you don't love Jax enough for him to stick around. Yes, I do love Jax. Okay. If you marry again... That means you have to put your husband first. And Jason knows, and I know, that Jax is second in your eyes. To who? You? You guys are going to have to continue this argument somewhere else. Okay, but you know I'm right. And you don't want to admit it. Well, just, just tell me that you know what? Just let her make the choice. Thank you, Jason. Oh, fine. But you know, there's not a law in giving your opinion, is there? Well, my opinion doesn't even matter. Just let her marry Jax. <sighs> All right. You know he's right. Why, why do you even bother? I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you. You can't be with one woman when you're in love with another I, woman. I just told him he should let you choose. Why well, about showing me the same respect? You say I never listen to you. If you listen to me more, your life wouldn't be such a mess. It's my mess. I'm going to deal with it how I think is right. It's not fair to anyone if you make a commitment with Elizabeth for the baby's sake when you're so in love with Sam. I am here to tell you that your mind games aren't going to fly with me. You came all the way over to tell me that? No, I came over here to tell you to give it up because you're never going to convince me that I don't love Jax enough to be his wife. I really got to you, didn't I? God, you were so juvenile. Do you know that? Listen to me. A man wants to know that he comes first in a woman's life, right? He wants to, you know, she can confide in him, come to him for anything, keep secrets, understand each other. Jax says all those things to me. Okay, Jason's the one that you turn to, right, when you want help and you want to be rescued. Jason? Yeah, your f best friend, your hero. If you were stuck in the middle of, a, of, a, of an Amazon jungle, Jason would be the one that you would expect to rescue. Because he would. Point exactly. You count on Jason, you always will. Jax won't be able to take that. Jax has no reason to be jealous of Jason, and Jax knows that, Sonny. What about you and me? Well, here we go. Isn't that what no. we're all talking about? No. Well, you, hey, you know, we, we understand each other. I understand everything about you. I, I keep your secrets. You may have fun with Jax. You may enjoy each other's company. But, he, you know, he doesn't have any, 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 anything real. No, you're me. wrong. Because what Jax what and I have is very real. For Jax, but not for you. And soon he's going to realize that and he's going to give up. No, he won't. Jax and I are committed to each other. We have a strong foundation, and it's only getting stronger. So when I walk down the aisle with Jax, I will walk down the aisle with a certainty that he comes first in my heart. I'm the next general hospital. Careful! Alexis hates me. I don't want that woman anywhere near my wedding. I want you in my life, even if I turn out to be the father of Elizabeth's baby. What if I tell Lucky? Is Elizabeth okay? She's pregnant. That's why I'm here. 